Yeah, what's going on everybody? It's your boy iPod King Carter. I am back with a new UFC 3 career mode video. It's about to get insane, man. Stick around. Let's get into the video. Hello, fight fan, and welcome to career mode in EA Sports UFC 3. Every fighter has to have goals. Yours is to become the greatest of all time. You'll need to do more than just win fights and championships, though. To become the GOAT, you'll need to break UFC performance and promotional records to make your mark inside and outside the octagon. Whether you're training to improve your attributes, performing drills to unlock new techniques, or promoting yourself to gain fans and build up fights against your biggest rivals, the decisions you make in career mode will determine your legacy in the UFC. Greatness awaits. Go take it. All right, guys. Now that that cutscene is over, man, we can get into this video. Now, this year, guys, I'm switching it up. I'm not going to go the middleweight route. I'm not going to go fight the same old characters that I fought year after year. This time around, man, I'm going to go with a heavyweight. And I was trying to get on that legendary grind from the beginning, but EA was like, nah, man, we, you got to show and prove, man. <laughs> we don't trust you. But like I said, guys, I'm going all the way to heavyweight man i decided i'm gonna make me a monster i'm gonna make me a beast and i'm gonna be dominant in the heavyweight division man so hopefully you guys will like this new creation and you already know man i'm a striker at heart i was gonna go with brawler but i decided nah man i need that speed so we went with striker this year guys so hopping into the first name you already know it is david i mean who else am i gonna create you know what I'm saying? Like, why would I create anybody else besides myself? But I know you guys are probably going to be thrown for a loop later in this video when you actually see the face creation, how I structured everything. I know that I decided to do this a little different because, you know, every year is just the same old, same old. So I just wanted to stir the pot real quick, man. But, of course, my nickname is going to be The King. I mean shoot what else would it be you know what i'm saying I, I fought ea for i think two years trying to get the king as a nickname into their game so <laughs> i gotta go with the king now as far as social media goes it's gonna be like my actual twitter like my actual instagram like my actual youtube name ipod king carter and this is a great addition that they made to the game as far as social media you know what i'm saying i like it because it has that flair to it now as far as city goes i went to go look for chester pa but chester pa was not on the list so i have to fight out of philadelphia pa it's all good man i ain't i ain't spazzing you know what i'm saying philadelphia pa ain't bad you know what i'm saying but it, i would have loved to see chester pa on here as well as far as age goes i'm gonna go with the lowest age because i want to have that longevity i want to be able to fight for a few years i want to be able to have a lot of fights under my belt and I want to go for that GOAT status. Um, I'll talk to you guys about the GOAT um, in the next episode. Um, basically, it's like a portion of the whole career mode that you want to achieve. It's just like making it to the Hall of Fame. Um, as far as weight goes, I want to max out the weight. I'm going to go ahead and max out the height. Yes, I'm creating a beast. You guys have to just bear with me, man. Just bear with me. Now, as far as style goes, <clears throat> I've decided to go with bj penn i mean since this is going to be a beast since this is going to be a fighter that is just can't be held cannot be talked to cannot be reasoned with i decided to go with bj penn because he's an absolute animal <laughs> in his cutscenes. i've had bj penn for a few years now so i decided why not just go with that now as far as music goes i went through this entire list EA got a few gems in here. I seen a couple hits, I seen a couple bangers, and I seen a, a, a ton of EA bonus tracks. But I decided to go with that Meek Mill wins and losses. You know what I'm saying? If I gotta take the L for this man, go ahead and spam L in the chat if you guys are gonna give me that L. But I had to go with that Meek Mill, man. Now, as far as my stance, I was gonna go with like a boxer stance with a little bit of bounce and stuff like that. But then I was like, you know what? I'm going to see how Nate Diaz's stance would fare. 
So as far as like his stance goes, you know how like his one two one two or his one two three four is. I want to know if that's as cheesy because of his stance or because of his moves. So we'll see how that goes. Now as far as taunts go, I decided to keep things pretty cool. I didn't I didn't want to go too overboard with the taunts. So you know I just wanted to speed everything up, get that over with. Now I will have a gameplay for you guys of me just doing taunts all fight. I don't know, man. I, I gotta try some things out man i want to just test the waters this year man you know usually i come out i try to take people heads off and you know it gets kind of boring so i want to switch things up now as far as my appearance goes yes guys your boy is going to have hair this year that's right hair physics spam up that like button if you guys want to see that hair physics all year i decided to give my dude dreads hey man listen no bondy got on this one man we going with dreads this year guys and of course i gave my dude a nice beard and the only thing is with dreads you kind of don't notice the beard as much it kind of just flows in with each other but i'm telling you on some of these cut scenes on some of these like uppercuts and stuff like that oh the beard is gonna come out you know what i'm saying the beard is gonna get unleashed but i just went with the small cosmetic stuff man not too much structural change um as far as like the body and the hair and all that stuff went i just chose what was probably best to make them look as beastful i don't know if that's a word as beastful spam that in the chat spam beastful in the chat right now just to check to see if you're gonna get an auto correct and then hit enter man i don't know but tattoos is what everybody came here for i know if you looked at the thumbnail you were probably thinking to yourself hey yo how you get them tattoos what made you come up with the idea for the tattoos why did you go that route so usually when i create a fighter i usually go with like maybe a chest tattoo a leg tattoo maybe one couple arms um last year i went with like one tattoo and i like spun it all the way around my arm just to make it look like it was a sleeve but this year i changed things up i've actually done my first face tat this is like this is epic for me man i'm graduating as a creator right now guys i literally put king right above my eyebrow so hopefully you guys will like that i tried to do the it's a knife with a cross yeah spam up it's a knife in the chat <laughs> but i tried to do the it's a knife and i didn't didn't like the way it looked so i decided to just change that out now as far as my back tattoo i wanted to go a little different man i usually always go with the high angel stuff but since this fighter's a beast since he's crazy like this he has to worship something now i'm not saying he, not, he out here worshiping demons but i just believe he believes in life and death and he believes at any given moment in the octagon somebody's life can get taken that's all that i'm saying now i tried out a lot of different tattoos on my arm i tried out a lot of different things seeing how they look changed the scaling the the whole rotation of it and i was liking a couple things man so i'm gonna go with the high demon tattoos man and things gonna be looking crazy man just wait till you guys see the stomach tat see the chest tat i i, I want to tell you guys all about this man this is just epic for me man i just feel like this year i'm gonna have a lot of fun with ufc3 man like it's a lot of new animations and stuff like that and you guys seen right there man i tried to go with a cross and like in my subconscious the angel was on my shoulder and was like hey yo my man we need a cross somewhere but i was like no nah, bro we need them demons bro we need them skulls bro we need all that everywhere let's get it so i decided to go with a nice little skull tap right up to my uh like nipple area pause you know what i'm saying not too far up now i went with a nice little uh tattoo right across my collarbone uh, collarbone collarbone and i decided you know what i'm gonna go with another chest tap and since i am the king the only other thing with a crown is the lion so what i decided to do was my left nipple i decided to make that like the nose part of the uh the lion which was pretty dope and i put a bunch of different layers on there so i can make it darker and i i like the creation man hey guys spam up that w in the chat if you like the creation don't forget to like the video i'm gonna see y'all in the next one
all right guys this is the end of the video i hope you guys definitely enjoyed this video make sure you guys hit that subscribe button and you can also watch one of my previous videos after hitting that subscribe button i hope you guys like this video let's get this thing to 5,000 likes and this is your boy ikc signing out peace